Hi and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. And the dust has settled, the sun has risen on a new dawn and Elon owns Twitter. And we know that there's a lot of people not happy about this, mainly the people who work for Twitter and all those left wokey wankarates who like like the control that Twitter has over freedom of speech, i.e. not allowed to have any, the way it clamps down on any view that isn't part of the groupthink, and they hate the idea of hearing words that other people might say that they disagree with. They like their little echo chamber, but that echo chamber doesn't exist anymore. It's Elon's chamber. And do you want to know what the best endorsement of Elon Musk's game-changing takeover is. It's how the woke army of its staff members, or censors, uh, they're all working from home across um, all the posh areas of San Francisco. And they're all crying and they're all worried. They're worried about their jobs generally. But the one thing they're most worried about is the fact that Elon is going to insist that they come into the office and do a day's work at the office. That worries them. And what else worries them is that Elon is reducing the censorship. And so there will be right-minded people, voices from the right, things said that they disagree with, and they don't know how to handle it. And he's also said that he's going to open up uh, the source code to show where bans happen, and more importantly, where shadow banning happens. Um, and they're not happy about it. And you know who else is not happy about it? The celebrities. And we all know they're all going to say, if Trump wins the election, we're moving to Canada. And they didn't go to Canada. But if Elon buys Twitter, we're going to get off Twitter. Not one of them has left Twitter. I mean, no one is going to shed a tear if any of these do nothing worthless waste of spaces leaves Twitter. Nobody listens to them, nobody likes them. What do they have what have they ever achieved? What have they ever done for the advancement of humanity? Nothing. You got that Jamil Jamil. Oh if if it takes I'm gonna leave Twitter if if Elon takes it. She's still on there. She's still on there. She says oh he's buying it for free speech. It's going to become even more lawless and hateful and xenophobic and bigoted and misogynistic. No, it's not. All that's going to happen is there's going to be people out there whose views you don't agree with expressing those views. And you're going to assume that they're hateful and misogynistic and racist and etc. But actually they're not. All they are is views you don't like. Where does fascism begin? The moment you don't like something. So, enjoy the free speech, my darling. You're going to, or you're going to leave Twitter. And I will eat my hat if all of these celebs who threaten to leave Twitter, leave Twitter. And of course, the main point, point is that every time any other, shall we say, platform attempted to, to rise up, um, to be, a say, a right-minded or a centrist um platform for people who Twitter hates. Twitter did its best. Oh my God, they did their best to destroy it. And so all these attempted platforms tried to come up, tried to rival Twitter, and they were all destroyed by the Twitter arty. And now Elon owns Twitter. They've got nowhere to go. What are they going to do? Make their own? They haven't got a hope. They're too stupid. But they keep calling out everything, everything, everything. So whenever anything's said now, what is the the woke left have got one one bullet in their gun. They have one arrow in their quiver. They have one punch left in their arm. And that is racist. Racism. When anyone says anything, racism. Now the latest one they're going after Elon is apparently Elon's racist because he's from South Africa. Think about the irony of that. Elon Musk 
is racist because he's from South Africa. So you're you're calling someone racist on the basis of where they're from. Will you be telling him to why don't he go back to his own country next? These people are stupid beyond words. Honestly, you talk to these people and I'm going to tell you now what it's like. It's like the ventriloquist has died and you find yourself still talking to the dummy. But what do you do? Anyway, there's a lovely little piece here, uh, which I'm going to go in and have a look. It's, it's short, won't take long, uh, but just as a little, I just quite liked it. So, uh, yeah, here we go. So here's the headline. The Wokarati threatened Twitter exodus over Musk, but none of them have deleted their accounts so far. Jamila Jamil, Mia Farrow and Sadiq Khan lead left wing outcry. Yes, they're crying, crying, weeping their soy tears but none of them have left. Why is that? I'll tell you, it's because they've got nowhere to go. The Tesla billionaire paid 44 billion and has vowed to let everyone say whatever they want on his social network. Donald Trump is expected to have his account reinstated as part of a push for balance and freedom of speech. Left-wing users have threatened to quit over Musk and his policies, but the vast majority of them have not because they're full of it. Moo! That's what they're full of. The back end of one. Or at least what comes out the back end of one. Woke Warriors, their pet left-wing organisations, and Elon Musk's business rivals have all threatened to quit Twitter over his takeover. But the vast majority are yet to delete their accounts, despite some claiming they must leave for their mental health, it was revealed today. No, they already are mental. They are so far left, they are beyond saving. They are bonkers. The Tesla billionaire has vowed to let everyone say whatever they want on his social network as long as they can prove they are not bots. And it is even expected to reinstate banned users, including the Trump, with right-wing commentator Tucker Carlson already back. Woo-hoo. In fact, I refused really to ever use Twitter because it was toxic and left and full of blue checkmark wankerates. Yesterday, I went on Twitter for the first time in 12 years. I actually saw the very first message I ever left, which was 2010, when I contacted my sister. That shows how little I use Twitter. But I shall start using Twitter now, because it's finally not a minefield of lefty woke crapola. In the hours after Elon Musk's $44 billion takeover was announced, some of Twitter's most followed and left-wing users pledged to never tweet again, although most of their accounts remain active. Yeah, I'm never going to tweet on Twitter again. Have you cancelled it? No. Why not? Because I'm going to tweet on Twitter again. Doesn't that make you a hypocrite? Well, yes. Then why are you a hypocrite? Because I'm from the left and everything we do is crap and bullshit and lies because the left only ever know that sort of stuff. Because you can't reason with the left. Can't reason with them, because everything they do is unreasonable. A group named Libs of TikTok have also put together a montage of people who are quitting Twitter over Musk, but many are keeping their accounts open so they can get more followers on Facebook or Instagram. Yeah, Facebook and Instagram, both owned by Zuckerberg, another well-known, wonderful human being, or possibly a lizard-like alien. I have no time for that creepy man and his horrible, horrible metaverse. I did a video on yesterday where it's very attractive for children and it's very attractive for people who are attracted to children. And in fact, people have been on there, especially ladies have been on there, and have been abused within a minute. But that's the world of Zuckerberg for you. So, oh yay, all you lefties, off you go. Go to Zuckerberg's palace. Enjoy yourself. The mayor of London, a small tosser, Sadiq Khan, has even weighed in to the Musk debate with a thinly veiled criticism of the Tesla boss, boss, but was urged by followers to concentrate on tackling the capital's problems with knife crime. With knife crime, with air quality, with traffic, with poverty, with... Well, every single problem you can imagine 
has got worse under Sadiq Khan. Every single thing. And now it looks like he's going to be demolished. Well, not him personally, but the Labour Party are going to be demolished in London in the election because of the policies of Sadiq Khan and the fact that the murder rate in London is the highest it's been since records began. Poverty has increased something like 30%. Uh, air quality is reduced. But, uh, quality of life has reduced. Um, the cost of living has increased phenomenally. And some people say that's not his fault. He's the one who puts the, uh, the fares up on, on Transport for London. He's cut back on so many things. He's so left wing. He's so up the arses of BLM and the likes of that. Uh, that he can't function. He can't function as a human being anyway. He's about four foot nothing. And he's one of those examples of he shouldn't let short men have power. Anyway, he tweeted, ironically, isn't it? Freedom of speech is vital, but freedom of speech does not mean a free pass for hatred. Online hate speech fans the flames of prejudice and leads to appalling and tragic real world violence. So does socialism, but it hasn't stopped you. Social media companies must do more, not less, to protect their communities. Yeah, so you don't like freedom of speech. He doesn't he doesn't accept that people have views that are of the right. And he seems to think that anyone who has a view that's not his view is a troublemaker. No, he's the biggest troublemaker of them all because he's from the left and more people in this world have historically died from the actions of the left than the actions of the right. If you're going to have a have a ban on certain points of view, shall we say, to keep the world safe, Let's ban the left, and that way people live better lives and longer lives. Model and presenter Jamila Jamil, 37, age or IQ? Hard to tell at this point. Said Musk's free speech promise will lead to lawless hate, bigotry and misogyny. No, it won't. It will lead to free speech. Pledging never to tweet again. Hooray! I bet she lies. Ah, he got Twitter. I would like this to be what lies here as my last tweet just really any excuse to show pics of barreled she had attaching a photo of the poodle mix she shares with her boyfriend musician james blake strong word musician mm. i feel sorry for the dog fancy having a dog with an iq higher than yours anyway I fear this free speech bid is going to help the hell, this hell platform reach its final form of totally lawless hate, bigotry and misogyny. Do you know, America has got free speech laws and yet strangely isn't like that. But then what would she know? She's thick. Jamil has since been widely mocked by people in her replies who believe she will not be able to resist staying off Twitter. I guarantee she'll have tweeted within 24 hours. Actri actress turned activist Mia Farrow tweeted, well, if Twitter becomes even more toxic with Trumpy treasonous lies and all the hatred, it will be taken less seriously. Nobody takes it seriously now, you silly cow. And people like me will quit. Hooray! For peace of mind. Oh, I tell you what, keep quitting. Keep quitting. We need all you lefty tosspots to quit because everything that comes out of your mouth is bullshit and toxic and hate-filled, and pointless. So, fuck kindly, quit. Quit, go. We don't care. Bye. Don't let the door hit you on the backside on your way out, love. Gary Lineker, wanker, wanker, also tweeted on the issue and said, does it matter who owns Twitter? It will no doubt continue to be both brilliant and a cesspit. Well, a bit like you, Gary, isn't it? Football career, brilliant. Everything you've done after football, cesspit. Hypocritical two-faced tosspot. Tory minister Zach Goldsmith said, sarcastically, with Elon Musk in charge, I really worry that Twitter might cease being a place of reason, balance and calm reflection. Although some of his critics probably missed the irony. Yeah, because his critics are thick. Honestly, that poor dog. That poor, poor dog. Anyway. Um, yeah, it's just going on there. Blah, 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 blah. Um, it's just a lot of other sort of meaningless non-entities um, moaning about... Oh, God, Tacky. Tacky George, right? Star Trek actor Tacky George. Also, he's always worth a laugh because I'm not kidding you. He's so far to the left that he's never right. 
He said he was not quitting Twitter because giving a greater platform to extremists meant that moderates like him were more important. Moderates? Moderates? My God, if he thinks he's a moderate, he has no idea about the centrist. Moderate. Oh, he's as toxic as they come. I'm not going anywhere, the 85-year-old tweeted. Well, I think you might be soon, mate. In a hole. and then, Or in the crematorium. You're not going to be around long enough to see the end of this, are you? And the, the best regard I've got for Tacky George is this. Of all the people he was in Star Trek with, the one person he hates the most is the only one who's actually been to space. Stick that in your pipe, George. But there we go. Um, there he is. Look at him. Why are you doing that, son? You're not a Klingon. You're an arse. Anyway, I shall come up and uh, round this off. It's been a longer one than I thought it would be. Yep, so it looks like it's going to be open season on the lefties. Um, they've got nowhere else to go. They all threaten to leave, but obviously they're not going to. Uh, so they've only got two options. Stay on Twitter or shut up. And we all know they can't help themselves. So it'll be, oh, I'm going to use it. Tweet, 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 tweet. I don't like it. Tweet, 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 tweet. I'm going to be more toxic. Tweet, 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 tweet. But they're going to get an awful lot of backlash now. Because the one thing that they absolutely forget is that no matter how powerful they think they are, because they look with the blue check marks with our strange hairs, they represent a tiny, tiny proportion of people. And all those people who couldn't have a voice because of the, uh, the banning and the shadow banning and the clamping down and the censorship, all those people will have a voice now and they will find these lefty tosspots, the wankarati, that they're going to be drowned out by normal people and normal viewpoints and they can shout and stamp their tiny, tiny, ineffective little feet. But nobody's going to listen to them. And it may, it may reverse things. It may be the start of the end of the woke because now all these television producers and filmmakers and that who are constantly looking at Twitter to see what their feedback is will suddenly see a lot of people saying why is this crap? Why have you made that pile of crap? Why have you put her in it? Why have we got to have him in it? Why can't we have a film with someone who's not gay in it? Why can't we have a film that's historically accurate? And things like that. And the woke will die. And if that's the case, then we all owe Elon a huge thanks. Anyway, I shall round off there. If you like what you hear and see on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Ring the bell for notifications of future output. Leave a like, leave a comment. And until next time, dear friends, stay safe, stay well, and goodbye.